Welcome back everybody, in this video I'll be talking about how I'm how I finished Dead Dungeon and also talking about my other entries to the to the Game Boy Competition 2021. Uh, so as you can see, the, I've put the game onto itch, you guys can't play it right now. Uh, I'm so happy that my last game, um, Office Combat, has, has got almost 2,000 plays currently. Um, so I'm going to wait off until those uh, stats die down a bit before I post this game. And uh, so it'll be sometime the next week I expect. But for now, um, I'll just run through of you what I've done in Dead Dungeon. So first of all, in the um, in the menu, we have our max health, and it can only go up to eight now. I've made it so in the top left corner we have our health, and and if you've been watching my previous videos, this is just one actor, and it displays a maximum of four health. Uh, and when we have a second one, it means we can have a maximum of eight health, which I've added uh, in between videos. That's a very simple thing, um, and obviously if you're my patron, you'll be able to get access to this uh, when this video goes up. Uh, and everybody who wants to get their access to their files, um, the project files, then they'll be uploaded when I upload the um, game to the competition. Regarding my other submissions, I originally planned seven games to put to the uh, competition. Um, and obviously I wanted to get all of them done, but um, I've kind of not... I guess I've been a bit lazy in the fact that I have decided not to finish slicks um, and that's mainly because I'm just reusing the code from Take It Racing 1 and I didn't really think that was very fair. Um, so I've decided not to enter that game um, and with a blackjack I thought that it, like I said uh, with my blackjack video, I I didn't feel right when I'm uh, making that game so I've decided not to um, you know, post it onto itch so that people don't uh, so people aren't able to play it. Um, instead, my patrons will have access to the files to that. Another game I also had planned was uh, Rally Ball, which was like a swing ball kind of sportish game. Um, and obviously, I haven't got around to doing that. And not, there was only a couple of people who actually wanted to see it. Um, and so I've kind of spent my time doing the things that people actually wanted to see. Um, so I might remake that, uh, I might make that in the future, but for now I've put it on hold and uh, it won't be coming anytime soon. Um, I also had the Tanker game, uh, which was obviously made prior to the jam in, in a single day. Um, and I've decided not to do that as well, mainly because I wanted to make it a bigger game. Uh, and although three months is a long time, obviously when I'm working on other games, that uh, time obviously is split between those other games. So the Tanker game, I'm, I'm putting on hold. The actual design of the Tanker game wasn't like fully fleshed out, so I, would, I and I didn't spend the time before the jam um, going through it and like reconsidering how it worked. Uh, so I kind of have the same reason of why I'm not working on it as why I didn't continue working on it when I originally made it. Um, so when I have the time to go through that, I will definitely try and uh, do that. Um, I think the only game left would be Space Crawler. And I think uh, with that game, obviously, um, during the Game Boy Competition 2021, it was announced that the GB Jam 9 was going to be happening, which uh, honestly I thought was a bit annoying because that means uh, if you've been working on a game for three months and you've planned out your time on a game for that, then that means like that jam is then in almost in your way if you know what I mean like if you wanna if you wanna work on that jam as well then you would either have to finish this jam quicker or you know or or work on two games at once which uh, could be quite annoying and they could have just pushed it back a single month or even three weeks I think maybe even two weeks and it would have been out of um, September which is when the uh, Game Boy competition ended, so I'm not exactly sure why they they put it there. I remember when I did it, uh, was it last year or the year before? Uh, it was in July, so if anything, it was late uh, this year. And they, I, I, but obviously I'm I'm not the the people doing it, and they can do whatever they want, and it doesn't really hurt me too much because what it means is I can submit uh, one game to two jams. So I'm going to work on Space Crawler um, over that ten days. And I'm going to um, submit it to both jams. So I haven't um, really considered too much about that. I just know I want it to be a farming game in space. Uh, I don't know what the story will be. I don't really know um, if the farming even works properly in GB Studio. I thought of a way of scaling it down dr dramatically in order to uh, 
you know, get as much out of it as I can. For example, just having specific rooms of your ship, which are very small, only have like three different plants in them. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but I, I'll definitely show you guys my progress as I'm making it. Obviously, the, I think the jam uh, starts at the weekend and then we'll go into um, into the weekend after that. It's 10 days, so it's, uh, or it might be 9 days. Um, it might even start on Friday, I'm not sure. But yeah, I, obviously my plan is to submit one game to both jams. And this will mean that Dead Dungeon will come out during that jam. Um, and then um, the Space Crawler game will come out uh, after that jam. And that will be free games submitted to GB Studio, I mean, the, the Game Boy Competition 21. And it'll be one game submitted to the GB Jam 9. Um, and I, if you are listening to this and you're a developer as well and you've got you know, ideas for games, I really recommend um, spending a week on um, implementing a small version of your game into, um, into you know, GB Studio format um, because 10 days is quite a long time um, and it's, you'll be surprised how much you can get done in 10 days. Also, when you submit, you'll get feedback from other developers and other people playing around with it on itch. And I feel like that's very vital information to um, make you a better developer. As well, I really believe that um, having making the game in a short amount of time really pushes you to consider what is valuable for your game design and what can be, you know, either added later and arguably not needed at all. And what is the core focus of the game? If you make every game in 10 days, I feel like you would have uh, very strong gameplay aspects or complete failures. Uh, obviously, there is, a, there is a middle ground that you will find um, where, you know, as you make games, you will get quicker and better. Um, and, I, and obviously, it comes with time, right? It always comes with time. So back to Dead Dungeon, you can see here when I click on this, um, I've already upgraded my max health to 8. So when it asks me, would you like to upgrade your map house? Uh, it then says, no more health upgrades remaining. And if we back out, obviously I have to fight off these things. But you can see now my health is at 8. That's all those bars at the top. Um, and obviously we still have that bug that when I press uh, attack, it originally shows the wrong frame of the character. You can see it there, um, where like the eyes are facing right or something. Uh, and this is just a bug with GB Studio, unfortunately. So... Uh, hopefully that's fixed in the future, but yeah, I can't really get around that. See, now I have a bomb. When I press select, it drops a bomb, right? Uh, I've also noticed that I can't attack when, I've <laughs> when I'm when uh, i in this scene, which is strange because I could attack before. Um, I think it might have something to do with that health. But yeah, so there, there might be still bugs in this game, and by uh, submitting it, um, you know, a few a few days down the line, it means that I can fix these bugs. What I'm trying to do now is get to the boss fight, um, because obviously that's where the actual uh, content actually is, right? Okay, so here I am in the uh, final level, and for some reason I still can't attack, so it's not ideal. Hopefully that once it goes through this text, I can attack again. Okay, so... I can attack, and I am really not sure why. Okay, so there's definitely a bug, and I will definitely need to fix that before I submit the game. And so I'm glad I waited. Um, and because of that, I can't actually show you guys what happens, but I can tell you how it happens. I attack this heart, and obviously there are bugs, and it doesn't always work. But once you destroy the heart, the eyes open, you can attack the eyes. And when once both the eyes are destroyed, this rock wakes up, and then I can attack the brain. And once I kill the brain, then the uh, then the game finishes. And that's uh, how I've done this boss fight. I've also made it so every time I hit the the brain, that uh, two of the uh, rock monsters wake up or like reappear, and they start chasing me down again. Um, which obviously isn't much of a threat since they can't walk on like into me. I have to walk into them for it to you know do the hit. Um, so. I might be able to find a way around that, but for now, that's how it is. So yeah, that's me. Um, I'd love to hear about uh, your games in the comments below. 
Um, I'll put my patrons up on the screen right now. Thank you so much to you guys. You guys will have access to this, uh, both the game files and actually the project files. That'll be as soon as this video goes up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like this video if you like the video. And yeah, I'd definitely like to hear what you guys think of this in the comments below. And if you're submitting something to the Game Boy competition and whether or not you're going to be submitting another game to the GB Jam 9. Um, and uh, if you do, then I'd love to hear about it and I could even uh, play your game on this channel maybe. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.